What are you doing? My foot got caught on... <laughs> There's no mirror. Yeah, it's it. Is. I can see, oh, you can see yourself, so yeah. you're treating it as a mirror. Yep. Well, you know that's not going to get edited out. The whole world can look <laughs> at how you look at yourself in the mirror. Nose. Nose. Hi, Just, guys. Hi, guys. Beck's not going to say it. She's was... still in holiday mode. I'm not. For this coming up weekend, you've already gone to holiday mode. I mode's. haven't. I was waiting for the, there we go. I was waiting for the screen to say, hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi guys. Confidently crack a wine. You're going to crack a wine. Crack a wine. Yum. Cracked. Yep. Did you say this was the last bottle that... No, they've got more coming. Oh, okay. It's the last bottle you've emptied at my cellar. And we've emptied out Linda's cellars, <laughs> where we buy it from. But he said in three weeks he'll have some more in stock. I wish we could get purple wine, purple worms again. That was so good. We bought every bottle she ever made. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had more of it. They should make it again. Well, it was just one of those things that... I know, it was destined for China, but then China put a, a stop on Australian wines around COVID time. And she just made up that Purple Worms label and sent it out and you fell in love with it. I did. Which I think I've still got one bottle hidden. Oh, no, I think you drank me last bottle. Yeah, I remember you giving me... I think, yeah. ...giving me the last bottle and... The last ever bottle. Yeah. I felt special. Yes, I know. So you special. are very special. <laughs> so how was your week? My week? Um... F1 was, F1 was getting worse. It's just boring. Mm -hmm. Like, well done, P. P Eastry or whatever his name is in Melbourne. I can never say his name. Piastri. Properly. Piastri, that's it. Ricardo went, oh, crap, but at least he got back up into 11th or 12th, which was well done from where, from last. But he's still, if he wants to keep driving, he's got to start driving better. Because mm. his teammate's leaving him and he can't blame the car. And what does he drive? He's driving for uh, RB, which is Red Bull's second team. Oh. The poor, the poor cousins team. Oh. Um, but the, just the, the first three races of the year have just been boring. Mm. Even though Max Verstappen didn't, definitely didn't win because his car broke. That's a it, shame. That he didn't win. No, the, it was boring. It was boring. Look, compared to, I really enjoyed watching F. Three and even though the supercar, Australia supercars, I really think they've stuffed the whole thing up. But it's really tight, which means there's a lot of racing. And I actually enjoyed watching a little mini 14 lap races because there's so much more overtaking. There's a lot more touchy, bumpy. Like I'm not in for big crashes. I don't want drivers to get hurt, but I love the niggling type of work that some of them do, but yeah. Anyway. Niggling. Niggling. That's, I'm getting annoyed, at, but my problem is I want to watch indie in Australia. I can't find anywhere where I can stream indie. Yeah. It used to be on Foxtel, but Fox is pox, so <laughs> I'm not, and that gets me back on too. Why can't everything just be available worldwide? The world is so small now. Yeah, I think it's got something to do with like licensing. They just have worldwide license. Yeah. I don't know. I think I did look this up when you were complaining about it and I found some reasoning. I, I, I think I understand what the Foxtel thing is. It's because they have a license only to stream within Australia. Yeah. <clears throat> but when you're talking about sports events, mm -hmm. surely someone has to have a license to stream it into Australia. And if nobody has a license, just let it come in for nothing. Yeah. And just don't, don't get me started on that shit. <laughs> don't get annoying. It was like that Helmut Newton thing I wanted to watch. Mm. And it was good, but when I realised that more than half of the footage was out of other documentaries anyway, I wasn't oh. as... But besides that, yeah, they finished off, completely finished me deck. Your deck? Oh, not completely. Good. It was two pieces of wood, garden edging, which I might do over Easter. But all of that's mm. finished. It I feels so much more spacious there now. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know why it's... It was easier to cook, so I did ribs on the weekend. It was much more Yum. roomy to m move around and do my ribs. That's good. And 
I did gun it a bit with my editing. Got through lots. That most of it happened between sort of 11 and 2 in the morning. I always get through a lot. Then. Yeah, well, I think you were saying the other day that you're always more productive, like, around... I don't know what it time. is. It's... Yeah, I can't work out. It's not like I wake up or anything. It's all of a sudden... Maybe I just get tunnel vision onto it. Maybe. And I was editing, like, I really enjoyed... I was editing up a Lottie picture, which I really enjoyed because it was back to more like high-end cover picture editing. Not that I had too much. Her skin's really good. Mm. But it's, and I just put on... Tunage. <coughs> tunage and, yeah, next minute, two hours had gone. <laughs> but I didn't just do Lottie. I did a Shea one as well. I really liked that Shea one. That was... Which one, the first or the second or both? I like both. 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 Yes. But, yeah, um, it was interesting. I, I, I'm still doing a lot of searching... Um, I'm trying to come up for answers for people that keep asking me the same questions. Like what? Um, where can I get models? How do I make it? How do I make money? How can mm. I get into fashion? All these. And I can't answer them yeah. because there isn't that. It's not just like. There's a, not that door anymore. Yeah. I, I watch a couple of, I watched a really good on that. I'll put a link, if I remember, to that gene. Model Gene. Model Gene again because he's he got a really nice uh, 10 series thing on Annie Leibovitz and it's quite interesting to watch. And one of the things watching that really stood out to me was um, once you get to like an Annie Leibovitz stage, one part of your job which everyone's trying to do gets really easy and another part then gets really hard. So it was literally as you'd turn up and lighting would be set up or they'd have a cool crew spend two days setting up the lighting with a manic and with a stand in. Mm. And um, then there was, you know, things like oh Annie Lieber which shot it, so it's a great picture, or it's Rihanna or it's a queen or it's this and it's a great picture. But then there's the backside of it when she was talking about her, she shot Demi Moore pregnant for the cover of Vogue and she got so much backlash about shooting her naked. You couldn't see anything, it was just skin. Why did she get backlash? Why do you think? I don't it know. It would only come from one country. Oh. I'm not allowed to have too much skin. Oh, right. Oh, if I see about that much skin, I need to have sex with something right now. Oh, there's a guinea pig. Off we go. Anyone got some gaffer tape? <gasps> oh, my God. Well, it is. It seems like I mean, it's... it's but it's, it was interesting watching some of the shit that she's gone through, which is more the fact because she's Annie Lee, which she now gets attacked by feminists and by this and by that, yeah. whereas I get attacked a little bit but nowhere to the extreme. Yeah. But then she can do whatever she likes and, you know, she tells people what to do. She tell... yeah. It just, it's, it's weird that... that the one thing I, I've actually, after watching it, I had, do hold her in a little bit higher respect. I do loved, loved her early work with the Stones and all the rock and roll stuff because she literally, I think she said she nearly became a drug addict or she did become a drug addict and she just lived the life and she just saw the world through their eyes. That's how she got her picture she got. Mm. And then as she got into the fashion and things like that, she's changed her way around from that, but she's still tended to see the world a little bit different to what other people did. And there was a, something somebody said and she agreed with it. It was something like, I wrote it down somewhere, but I really like the statement because I think it's so true that <clears throat> I'm an artist, not a photographer, and my camera is my brush. And I really like that statement because she even said the same. She said she's not really a technical person. All the people around her are technical, but she's not. Yeah. And, you know, she doesn't know half the time what camera she has in her hand. Yeah. Um, and she did shoot with really good cameras, but then I've got one for our workshops. It's, you know, how I go through, you wouldn't know what camera that the flower shot with. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, well, now I have a new picture in there. It's Rihanna naked on a bed. Mm -hmm. I shot with an iPhone. Oh. And so it got into Vogue. It's a to die for picture. I'm interested to see it. Oh, I, I thought you might have saw it on my. No, I haven't seen it. You normally have a gook through what I've collected <laughs> on the weekend. 
to see. I got a bottom shot on the weekend. Oh, God. After we've been cancelling, everybody's been putting bottoms on our... Well, because I don't want Facebook to cancel us. Yeah, no, I did the same. I removed about six bottom pictures. Yeah, because Facebook didn't like it and then I approved it. Yeah, on our group. But just what you got, We get warnings for pictures we haven't yeah. approved. And we get strikes on our page. And if our page gets pulled, it's because of... I don't know, people, but lots of people have been putting up bare bum pictures. And, and we can't, Facebook's already given us a warning for yeah. someone else's bare, bare bum, bum photo. That's a thing. If it looks like they're wearing like um, a G or they're wearing bikini bottoms or undies, if it looks like they've got some pants on somehow, they don't mind a bit of the sort of bum crack. Yeah, but if it's the, just a bare, the, bum, bare bum, we get a really warning. Like so it. I have yeah. to decline, decline it. declining bottoms. The declining bottoms. <laughs> yes. Which is it's <clears throat> annoying that, like, it's pending. Like, we haven't even approved it. It'll just be like. Yeah, pending. we get a strike because someone wants to put it up, but we haven't said yes. Yeah, it's just sitting there pending, and then Facebook still gives I'm us a warning. I'm waiting for them to give us a strike for saying no to somebody for the bottom. And so, what else are we supposed to. <laughs> well, I'm really sus to, I think. Well, I know. It's not, I think. I know for a fact. Facebook and Instagram, their numbers are completely fake and wrong. What do you mean? I'm just seeing figures dropping everywhere. I don't see people getting, blowing up. My feed, as you saw the other day, your feed, most of my feed is my pictures. Mm. Yeah, that was stupid. And I've, I noticed I hadn't seen a couple of people and I thought, gee, I haven't seen Russell James in I went and clicked on, oh, he hasn't posted in 20 weeks. <laughs> and I thought, I hadn't seen this person in ages, and they hadn't posted in sort of 18, 20 weeks. Mm. So there's all these bigger, like, fashion and photography people I used to follow. They've all abandoned it. Yeah. It's pretty crap. Oh, well, I couldn't even get anything to load over the weekend. I was just trying to lurk, and every time I'd go to someone's profile, it wouldn't load, like, any of their stuff. I was just trying to be a little lurker. A lurker. Yeah. A lurk in the gherkin. I just wanted to lurk people, but I wouldn't load anything. It was, and then I thought maybe my internet was playing up or something. So I changed to 5G. No, nope, still wouldn't load. And I just logged in as your account, still wouldn't load. I don't know. It's yeah, very I strange. I don't really have any of that problem. I'm ready for a fight with Telstra this week about fibre, but I won't go into it now. Wait till I have the fight, then we can go into that. <laughs> you and your love for the. I just, you know, people, when you pay for something they don't deliver... Yeah, no, I agree with you. And they should be able to see... Like, like if someone can go to PayPal and said, oh, my internet wasn't working for an hour, so I want a refund because I couldn't watch <laughs> their site for an hour, and they get it, I think I should be able to do the same with... Yeah, no, I agree with you. I agree with you. Oh, and another thing is, yes, I finally did it. What? You know what I finally did. Mm. I finally lashed out and bought my third Hasselblad H650. <laughs> that should definitely future-proof me for 10 years. That's good. So you're and going to take one away to Europe now? Yep. Yeah. Because um, you, what, 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 you didn't bring, did you bring the X to America? Nope. No, I took the X to Europe and hated it. That's right. It literally. But then you didn't bring. Yeah, I only took my Sony, I only took my Leicas. Because remember, we got them. To, I have them, they're all tethering properly. Ah, oh, that's right. Yeah. And yeah, like a uh, falling out of love with them really quick. Why? Well, this issue I've had with their firmware upgrade, mm. and I can't. I bought the SLs to use the M lenses, and now all my menus are stuffed up because even their their adapter it doesn't recognise it doesn't recognise M lenses, so you can't set your, one knob to ISO and one knob to shutter and have your aperture on your. So now I've got to click a button, go look for eyes, and it just, it takes, I don't know. It's, it's like not thing. enjoyable to use. Yes, and this is the thing I try and say to people about, it's not about the gear. It's about the gear that you can just brain dead yeah. move. I grab my Hasselblad, even though I don't have an ISO button. I, oh, yes, I do. I have an ISO button. I can't have an ISO wheel. Mm. But my finger is so used to hitting that button. Yeah. Well, like it doesn't have a button anywhere near there, so I'm not used to Mm. And you know, I was told, oh yeah, they've got. Don't worry about it. Cause you've got to go. The only way I can fix it is I've got to downgrade, and I have to send both cameras back to head office to have that done. 
It's a pain in the said, oh, they, they bring out new firmware to fix that anyway, any day. And it's been, I reckon it's been two months now. And then I contacted Melbourne and they said, oh, yeah, when the new SL3 comes out, there's a new up. And that didn't happen. And I'm still, like, it's just missing out on free publicity because I'm just not <laughs> using their cameras because yeah, I, I get frustrated you. using them now. Yeah, I must admit, I haven't seen you pull that out in a while. Yeah, which... Yeah, and you were, I feel like there was a period of time that you were... When all the knobs were where they needed to be, I'm happy. Yeah. As soon as I, it's, as soon as I get upset with my camera, I lose my flow, I lose my creativity, so... That's understandable. Especially when I'm working with people like, um, especially someone like Shay or Anne when something just happens. Mm. Like some crazy prop like the last one with an axe. Yeah. You know, I need to be super comfortable straight away with that. For and sure. if I'm not comfortable... Well, you're not going to enjoy it. But that's, that's a me thing. Maybe I found a new model on the weekend, which I'm excited for. Yes. I'll see that. Yes. Good. Which is good because I've been trying... Like, I, it's similar to what you were saying before, like when people ask us, how do I find models? It's like, well, <laughs> when you find out, can you let us know as well? Well, I was saying to you the other day with the whole thing about there's no supermodels anymore. Mm. I'm looking at all the muses that I worked with, bar one or two, they all started shooting when they were about 18. Yeah. Where's my new 18-year-old model? I don't know. You see what I mean? But that was all the models came through were about that age. Yeah. Wanting to get into it. Whereas I feel like now you don't have that because... Girls around that age just want to be influencers. Yes. <laughs> they don't, it doesn't seem to be that want to like become a model. Everyone's like, oh, it's And me. most of the influencers and photographers hate this is their pictures of just taking an iPhone get better than a professional photo yeah. because people look at the professional photo different. They just they look like you're allowed to shoot someone full length standing up with an iPhone. We yeah. dare do that with a proper camera, you would never get that job, those jobs. Yeah, that's true. It is very true. It's very true. So how was your weekend? My weekend was good. Went to a concert. I, went to, I had two shows. We had, went to a girly pop concert Friday night and then I went to a Psytrance day party on Saturday that was really meh. I know I told Len and showed him your photos and he pissed himself <laughs> <Yeah>. laughing. <laughs> well, like, we got there and there was, like, five people there. They had, like, so much... They had the smoke machines going, like, crazy. So With five people. So no, he said he could disguise the amount of people that were in the room. <laughs> uh, but we got there and they were playing hard style. I was like, it's 2.30 in the afternoon. We don't need... And it was so loud. Like, it was... It's That's like, because the people weren't there to suck up this body. Yeah, I had a feeling that was... It would have been echoey. Yeah, it was horrible. It was just, but then my friends played and they were really good. But other, and then after that, I don't know, I was just a bit bored. Did it bored. fill up? I got pretty relatively. It didn't fill up. What? <laughs> it got pretty relative. Well, like, yeah, well, That's not, yes, it filled up. Yeah, it wasn't full, but it, there was a, a few more people there. By a the few end. more. You <laughs> got by, the <laughs> by the end of it. And then we carried on and I tried to drink a bar out of their wine. I wasn't successful, a massive hangover the next day. Anyway, anyway. That's, that's what I... And I went, I have, was building some flat pack furniture for my mum as well. With a hangover, that's like <laughs> a great fun thing to do. Just, uh, I, and I, I don't know, she didn't even need the new furniture. Her old furniture was fine. She obviously needed it. She, she wouldn't have bought, what's she done with the old? She's giving it to my sister. Oh, well, see, so your sister needed it. <laughs> she doesn't. So do you have to go and build, rebuild it over your sister's house? No, well, wait, no, her husband can do that. I've got, like, blisters on my hands from the screwdriver from screwing all the little things in. So why don't you get your mum to screw it in? Because she can't. She's just an old lady. She can't. I have to do it. <laughs> you know there's companies that you can pay to come out and... Put your flat pack together. Really? I heard they're really bad though. Oh. Some put it completely wrong and break. At first, it was so much fun, and then it was just like it, it lost its funness about 
a little while into it. A little it. while into it. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't... Like five minutes. <laughs> like, I only want to whine now. This no, is... I, had, I, was, I was having a while. I was having a hair of the dog as I was building it. Oh. And like, speaking of dogs, I'm going to dog kept, like, jumping all over. It was just... It's just a nightmare. But anyway. Oh, so it's all right for your cats to jump all over people, but you're... <gasps> The dog's not allowed. Well, it was just getting in my way. And, like, I was trying to, like, screw stuff in and then the dog thinks that my hand's a toy. So much. I think I've come to the, the realisation that I am a cat person. No, you're not. You still get better face if I talk about dogs. I think I'm a cat person. No, I think 100%. I... 100%. I think I am. You haven't owned a dog for how long? Right. You can't right. say that. If you if you'd got a dog... See, if you'd got a dog instead of that little terror you got, mm -hmm. you would have still had the same issues with Scissor. But I'd have to toilet train it if I got a dog. So? so that's annoying. You don't have to toilet train it when you have a kid. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I think human poo's worse than oh. other poo. I don't know. That's annoying, though. So I like the cats come toilet trained. You just show them where the litter box is and they're like, thanks. Appreciate you telling me. Right where from birth, when I can't even walk. No, when you get them, like when you adopt them. Yeah, but they lick their own poo. <laughs> and then they lick your face no, after they they've don't. licked your poo. They don't lick my face. Are you sure now? Yes. They've got really rough tongues. Yeah, it's to get all the poo out. <laughs> Yuck. Then they have poo breath. <laughs> no, they don't lick my face. I guess if I got a dog instead of a cat, the dog wouldn't be climbing the curtains like my cat does. No. <laughs> it's very annoying. There's holes in the curtains now. What about your plants that start ripping them down yet? Um, it's ruined the moss pole that's in my Monstera, which is annoying. But other than that, no, it's actually surprisingly not too bad with the plants. I was expecting a lot of them to be, like, pooted, but they've been... He's fine with that. They've been, so, he's been fine with that. It's just the curtains that's really annoying me. And I don't know how to stop it. Like, I just yell at him, but... It's, I'm going to have to buy new curtains now and... Can't you just sort of put some of that lighter fluid on them? Lighter fluid? Yeah. You know the lighter fluid for the old Zippos? No? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, just put that on the curtains. Why? Well, once he starts climbing, you just light it. No! <laughs> oh, my God. He won't do it I didn't again. know if you were going to say something about being slippery or something. I don't know. I didn't know where you were going with that. Oh, it's irritating. Irritating. <laughs> irritating. But, yeah, so I, I wonder, I'm a bit tired now. I'm not used to doing stuff. You're a bit tired now. Yeah. Have you worked a week this year? Yes. I'm trying to think. So you only got a four day this week. What did you have last week? I walked every day last week. Except, no, you had half a, a part of a day off for two. Well, that was like two hours. So it's still not a full week. That's two hours. Week four, no, no. So this, no, this won't be your first week. Next week won't be. How long until you get to work a week? Because then after that, you've got two days off. For what was a five-day workshop? Sykes. I worked. I worked every day that week. Oh, that's right. Well, you turned up. <laughs> I did not. You did. You were sleeping out the back. I, I was not. You would disappear and just leave us all alone. I... I'd yell out, and someone goes, "Oh, yes, she's gone." <laughs> You didn't? Yes, I, I did. Who was doing all the lunch stuff? I did. I cooked. No, you didn't. I cooked steak. That was one day. I shredded the chicken. Yeah, but you didn't. Did you go over and get it? No, I didn't get any of the chicken. What? It's all right. I'm stirring you. you get you a wooden spoon. Why do you keep tapping on your phone? Are you in a hurry to finish No, this because I just thought, I didn't know what the notification was. Oh, do you have a notification? Yeah, and I didn't know what it was. Is it your um, is celebrant it... saying, sorry, I missed second Zoom oh call in a row? I'm so mad. I wouldn't be booking her. If she hasn't turned up to two Zoom meetings, yeah, she's not like... going to turn up at your wedding. You and Jared are going to have to try, do your vows I to each a... other. I need to see, like, if there's a way to contact her because... What? No, I wouldn't want to. If you if she's got a web page that says book, set a time, that they send back messages to say this is all booked in and never turns up. Yeah, it's pretty sorry. bad. And sorry, she's on a reality bride getting married to someone you've never met show. 
doesn't so? sound like a really great person in the world. Yes, she is. I sort of, I have to put headphones on every night she watched it. I cannot deal with the type of people that have entered I that love show. It. No. It's good. They're just completely disasters. It's good TV. Yeah, and you'll get married by a disaster. They She's can't not even. A disaster. Oh, I don't even know which one it is, but <laughs> maybe if you told me, I wouldn't know. But anyway, that's it. But no, I just think that is really bad. Like, if you've got an automated thing on your website that lets people pick in days, you get confirmation, you get a link to join a Zoom meeting, you have a time and. Gets yeah, added to your calendar and you've got little ticks next to, like, her name had a little tick, like, saying she was, like, confirmed. Then I confirmed and you know, then... It's all automated by AI. She doesn't exist. She does? No, she doesn't. It's an AI figure. Oh, so I need to find another wedding celebrant now. Which is kind of... Why does it have to be a celebrity? It doesn't have to be. I just thought it would be... In fact, be... there'd only be one person in the entire wedding that actually knew who she was. No, they wouldn't. Heaps of my friends watch the show. Really? Well, not heaps, but quite a few. Every time I've uh, heard you ask someone if you watch Maps, they've said no. It was Casey, Kyle, Vicky, Arnie Cole. Arnie Cole. They all watch it. <sighs> and so I'm, like, I'm a few weeks behind, though. It's pretty and I need to catch up. Oh, she dies. She doesn't die. She does die. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why she's on Amazon? Yeah, <laughs> she died. <laughs> Oh yeah, she got God. some sexually transmitted disease oh that kills you in a week. No, she didn't. Yes, she did. It's getting hot. I thought it was cold. No, you just sort of put the underarm, <laughs> you're flashing it at me. <gasps> anyway, so that's all you do this week. Mm. Just So I mix up peach and peaches. Um. So for some reason... I knew, I know both of them, but for some reason I thought it was Peaches. Oh. And especially with Lizy going, Peaches would be up Lizy's alley. Yes, right. No, it wasn't. It wasn't Peaches. And then I was, I nearly was about to, well, you, you weren't texting me then, were you? No. No. I was, I was dancing to my little. I was going to say, leave your top on. Well, <laughs> Peaches quite often would go, all right, girls, tits out. Oh, interesting. But 90% of the crowd were girls. Oh, okay. No, Peaches, she got famous on TikTok. Oh. What? One of those. What? She gets in public places and dances with music going No, out. she's just really funny. And, like, she like she got famous on TikTok just for being funny and really unhinged and being very vocal about her mental illnesses. And... Was she making fun of my illnesses? No. <laughs> you know, she said she was making fun of mental illness. No, she wasn't, no. So she everybody get... with mental, mental illness? Oh, she can get cancelled for that. No, like, she, because she has, like, her own list of things and then she would just make, like, humorous... real ones or she yes. made them up? no. You're sure she hasn't made them up to get no. people on board? No. It's not just all her girlfriends have the same... No. Or have the real mental illness, so she just makes up hers to... No, anyway, she just, board. she just she just posts unhinged things and she's really funny and so she blew up on TikTok for just being funny and she is also a singer and then because she got famous on TikTok and then her music career started to take off as well and yeah. Oh, so she's one of those. What do you mean one of those? Well, really no talent except she had something that people it's like she's, you with your. She's a really good singer. Is she? Yeah. Then why did she get famous on TikTok for not singing? Well, she got famous for being funny and for singing on TikTok. Oh. And plus, You're not convincing me yet. She has like 2 million followers. So? So that's like a lot. It's not that much for social. Well, she, it's a lot. It's more than you have. Yeah, well, I don't want 2 million <laughs> followers. Oh, my God. But don't you, you always tell people that this is what they should be doing. There's no easier time to make it because if you just do post stuff on the internet. Yeah, I know. But it sounds like she was a talker before she was a singer. I... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> See, so the, at least Justin, the Beebs, was mm. a singer before he was... No, I think, she was, I think she was singing before she was talking, but she was just also a stripper at the time and she needed to pay... <laughs> a stripping talker singer. No, she was just like, <laughs> she needed money. So she was working at a strip club because she needed money. I heard something today on a Rogan show that in 
one of the right. Canadian strip clubs, you've got to buy tokens and you pay the girls with the tokens. Mm. Well, they most likely load them up one end and deload them the other end. So you know, they most likely say tokens worth a dollar, mm. but they only give the girls 50 cents mm. of it, whatever. But there's, there's assholes there that get out their cigarette lighters and heat up the tokens and then throw them on stage. Oh my God, that's horrible. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I thought that was terrible. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's mean. That's really mean. Although I, there was something I don't know. There's a few people on some of these, while I'm waiting for stuff upload, I'll do my little surf on X, Twitter in your name, but I call it X, leave me alone. <laughs> Um, uh, and quite, there's a new thing going out, um, tell me what you can see. Mm. So it's just a, a video or a picture and I never, as you know, I'm not going to go and read people's comments because that would just be too, so frustrating I for me. It. No, it's all right for you. Play, play me their videos or their comments. I don't want to try and read. Anyway, the, so one of them was... Um, in the 80s and 90s, all these shots in schoolyards, mm. like kids in the hallways and all of this stuff. And it was sort of, so what, what is different? And I just thought, no one's punching anybody. What? I'm serious. So many of the teenage videos are people punching people in the face. Oh. Serious, I can't go like three swipes without someone punching someone. Oh. And now I have these How really, violent. I had a very violent dream last night where I was kidnapped with somebody else, I don't know. Ooh. I don't know who she was, I can't, can't remember why is, who she was. Why but, is that in your feed? Like why are you getting all these punch ups? I don't know mate, Ooh. but I'm not just going to punch ups and shoot them out and Ooh. I don't know, I think it's a bit, I'm trying to only get fashion in my feed but do you I interact only, with them no, at all? I only oh. interact with fashion. It's the only stuff I interact at all. Even anything that comes up where I think it's a bit men magazine porny, I won't even interact. I tend to swipe past them straight away. Then something fashion comes up, I always click on it to see it bigger and I'll give it a love heart. I think that, you know how they have their theory that like they can hear you and then they give you like ads based on... Why don't like it so I don't talk about it normally. No, but I've been getting ads for wedding photographers, but... But you've been looking at wedding dresses. Oh, duh. No, not for a while, I yeah, haven't. Yeah, but you already done planted the seed. But the I haven't looked at them for behind. a while, and now only just now they're showing so me wedding... So have you watched... Well, what about contacting this loser of a... not going to turn up to your wedding? Um... Was that over the internet? Yeah. Yeah, well, there you go. I don't think then. I just found it. But no, what I was going to say is because I have been t saying in conversation that I need to chase up. Because I was speaking to a photographer in like January and he hasn't replied to my last email. Is it you? I is hope it not. you? The problem is they see your name and go, oh my God, I'm not going near him. <laughs> I hope not. Well, didn't you? Where was you? were somewhere and you mentioned your. Oh, that's right. It was at Esso. Esso. One of the food, like one of the event photographers I was talking to, I saw that he, we had a camera and I was asking him like what he shoots on and he said Canon and I was like, oh nice, I love the colours of Canon. He's like, oh, do you shoot yourself? I was like, nah, but I'm a personal assistant to a photographer. He's like, oh, who? And I was like, Peter Colson. He's like, oh, no way, I actually know who that is. Oh. And then not very long after he like bailed. I don't know if I like. <laughs> he most likely looked you up and thought, oh, psycho. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting bailed on. Why? Why does no one like me? <laughs> I've tried a dozen times for that the phone listens to you talking yeah. and, and it's never done it yet. And other oh. people I've been with, we've just said s sentences about something we never even are interested in to see if it comes up in the feed. Nothing will happen? Nothing will happen. No. What a nasty thing for a son to do to his mother. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we just ring me up to tell me, oh, I think someone's hacking my bank account. Oh. Well, it's a weekly phone call. Oh, bless her. And it's quite funny. So I said, so the bank, they said they're ringing up from the bank to you. And she goes, yes. I said, mum, you know that I am power of your attorney <laughs> and 
all your details, your numbers, everything don't exist, they would be ringing me to say somebody is spending your money. And the other thing is you've got most of your money is locked away mm. in term deposit. So the most it can get out of you, we've got a limit of, I think, $1,000 a day is the max you can take out. And we've only got maybe $10,000 sitting there that can be accessed immediately. I hate, I hate that these scammers, like, it's always, like, really, like, unfortunately, it's going to be, like, old people that fall for it. I just feel really sorry for them because they don't know any better, like... Yeah, well, I saw there was some old, um, it's like an old people group. I, can't, what, old, I don't know what they call it. There's a, <laughs> no. there's a club of old people, retired people, <laughs> retired people, and they have bingo nights and ballroom dancing nights twice a week. Yeah. And the scammer scammed $20,000 out of their account. And I... all it was was their club to pay for rents and things like that for their club rooms. And oh, That makes me really sad. And it was, again, it was a, a very elaborate scam that... Mm. Just, I just think it's rude. I like the fact we got another one trying to scam us and you've oh, just, just gone back here, we know what you're up to, <laughs> and they ran away. <laughs> it's... Yeah, I... I, I, I think, yeah. I think the biggest problem in the world is we either make the world really small or we... I know it sounds horrible, maybe put walls up around the wall. world. What do you mean? Well, 90% of the scammers now are coming out of places like India mm. and parts of Africa and you know, the people where they can get people that, you know, they'll do anything for a dollar. So they'll sit there on the phone and be a scammer and not care that they're taking someone's life savings and the person who's actually doing the scamming is not getting, you know, he's getting a dollar. It's only some rich person sitting in the background gets most of it. Yeah, Jared it's, watched a doco on scammers and I think the... They've, excuse me. Mm -hmm. So I had to go. Someone was parking in our parking spots and too dumb to read the big sign that says <laughs> tow away zone 24-7. And as soon as I went out there and decided to point towards the side, he went back, back out. He knew what he was doing. I, I don't get it. Like, and I think they're always pay platers. Always, and it's like sorry, pay platers are people who um, just got their license. Just got their. They got different colours, and so we got red and then greens. Mm -hmm. And it's normally the greens that do it. The reds are shit scared of the world. Yeah, because the they just got think, their license. The greens have got testosterone and their balls have got a decent size to them, so they get these big four-wheel drive cars, which... I think my... Because, like, obviously, like, the building says Cook Eye and then your car's out the front with your personalised number plate. I remember one time you were telling someone off for parking there and they're like, I thought you were closed. So why would quite clearly the owner's car be here if we were, like... Dum dums, and we ha we have the place looking inconspicuous. From the outside, we just look like some nobody have any idea except the photography sign. But from the outside, the curtains are always shut except for when Chrissy's standing with her boobs out. <laughs> no, or Anne. so when we're using that light, yeah. most of the time all the curtains are shut. Yeah. Um, the back in the early days, though, when I used to do all the motorbikes. Oh my god! We used to get a crowd over there. There was a different mob who owned that. It was they owned three of the factories, all timber workers, and they would see the big bike transporters turn up, and they would just go out to see these friggin' <laughs> million dollar motorbike and shoppers and things like. That. And then they would be all waiting for the girls to turn up in <laughs> to be on the bikes. Oh it was quite god. funny. They, you see, a girl would walk, and you hear a cheer. Oh my god. Testosterone. Oh, to the max. It's like the only girl in the world. <laughs> and if I whistle at her, she'll fall in love with me. Oh my, I, I, I never got over that in the city because I, for ages I delivered, oh, I just, two years, so I ran every street of the city all day long and all the different building sites. Mm -hmm. I never got over the guys who would wolf whistle a girl and think they're going to go, oh my God, I'll have sex with you. <laughs> I don't get it. Like... <laughs> Most girls think creep. But it's if it's like, Back when I was younger and I had to catch public transport and stuff because I didn't have my licence, 
like be walking along like a main road and people like tooting their horns. It's like, what are you achieving? Like, I'm not going like, to go chasing after your car and be like, please, like, have That's how fun I used to have when we're walking through New York and places like that when you're wearing something a little bit <laughs> sexy-ish. And Beck and I would be walking together side by side and Beck would be trying to ignore them completely and all I'm doing is watching their eyes and I'll be t- giving Beck commentary as um, they're trying not to, oh, on their on the boobs, they're just looking at your boobs, they're, they're staring. And the, the favourite thing is as we walk past, well, I always like to turn around and see if they checked out your ass. Mum likes doing that as well. If me and Mum go out in public together, she yeah, like... Yeah, but she'll be saying they're looking at her. <laughs> she people watch it, but she's really bad at people watching. Like, I feel like if you're people watching, you've got to be like inconspicuous about it. Mum just like straight up stares at people and I'm like... Oh no, I do it out of the corner of my eye. I watch no, everything. No, Mum like, I'm like, Mum, you, you got to be like sneaky about this. You can't just like stare at people. <laughs> I, I have lots of fun doing it. Just even when I'm walking through places on my own, I just, I'll see some girl that might have a nice figure and I go, all right, wait, so, oh, there's some guys. So I'm walking, watching them. And you just seems like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I, love, I do enjoy people watching me. I think it's like one of my favourite things watching other people in restaurants. Was, yeah, I remember when we were in London one year, we were, you told me about some game that we had to like watch people and come up with a story of yeah, like who they are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> their husband and wife, are they ex, are is they this a first date? First date, is he cheating on her? Is he a sugar daddy? <laughs> no, that's what everyone was thinking with us. Oh. <laughs> well, I used to hate the word, one of the worst things when we went to America and I was with Amy and Amy was 18. There was a couple of nights we went out for dinner and Amy might have accidentally, my daughter's passport fell into her bag and she always forget, pull out the wrong one. <laughs> because she looked a lot like Nikki when Nikki was about 19, 20. Mm. And it was amazing, anywhere cheap we went into, had to bring up ID. Mm. Um, the night that my old assistant went out with her friends, so we decided to go to Nobu in LA, not a single question. Mm. Well, doesn't that say that they just, they're not going, most of their, their clientele are rich and they're just going to say, well, they're all coming in with girls that look like they're 12? I mean, maybe. I didn't think of it like that, though. But, yeah. It's a big difference in Australia, drinking age is 18 and 21 and Nikki's driver's licence had Nikki at 22. You're right. Oh, passport, sorry, not driver's licence, passport. Yeah. Gotcha. And she never got questioned once, even though two or three times I called her name Amy while she's handing over a passport with Nikki on it. <laughs> oh, my God. They probably weren't looking at the name. They were probably just looking at the date of birth. Oh, if they said anything, I just sort of said, oh, that's just her bad name. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Well, it's like, it's sometimes, like, I hate that stuff. It creeps me out like crazy. You know what, how I feel yeah, about no, that. I don't no, like no. being looked at like someone I'm not. But when we were in Dubai and we went into the nightclub that just ended up being nothing but strippers, uh, like they, Russian, no. What the, they weren't strippers, no. they were escorts. Prostitutes. And it was full of the, the guys in their gowns, yeah. the white sheets brigade. And I've walked in with <laughs> Me and Anne. Anne, who looked 10 times better than any other woman in there. And I'm just walked in there with jeans and a shirt, I think. Oh and you can see them all look at that he, was he must so... be worth a trillion dollars because each of us are worth a billion and look what we've got. <laughs> that was so awkward. I had... That was horrible. <laughs> they have music on, but you're not allowed to dance. Yeah, that, that was so weird. And we were just so excited, like, oh, you'll go to this club. But then we got in there and we're like, oh, this is not where I parked my car. <laughs> <laughs> this is not where I want to park my car. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I remember the second we got out of there, me and Anne went back to our room and just like cried with laughter that we'd take, we'd all gone into a prostitute bar. Yeah, I so was a little bit like when we were in St. Marie, so I just went back and had a shower <laughs> to wash, <laughs> wash all of that. <laughs> oh my God. Well, you know, the poo particles, I think there was semen particles yeah. in the air in there. <laughs> that was, that, like, that's, that was the only point of that establishment, wasn't it? Of course it, it was. Mm-hmm. And it's completely against you can't even go into so legally if you and Anne came into my be- bedroom just for a coffee or something, no, that's jail. 
Oh. So unless you're married, a couple of pilots and hostesses have been caught with that. But I think because we're in the complex that had all of that within, it's once you enter in there, it's had alcohol and everything in there, once you enter in there, it's like... No man's land. No, it's like entering the Vatican (laughs) or entering the... The, um, was it, um, where the royals live? Winston, Pal- um, Windsor Palace? Windsor Palace. Like Buckingham the, Palace? Buckingham Palace. They've yeah. got their own rules in there. Like, <laughs> Do they? Did you know age of consent in the Vatican, like, not that long ago, like 2014, was 12? Really? In the Vatican? Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Why would they have that? Oh. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> Really I wonder good. if they how long they've kept up because it's I've found out a lot about it. It's actually true. It's not just hearsay. It's like the incense used to burn in Catholic churches was marijuana, and when the, the monks went into meditation, they were quite mm-hmm. often doing LSD. Yeah, nice. And it was that, them. that yeah, but I, they. I wonder if the Vatican that's still because they're. It's like their own country and they've got their own rules. I think it is. A, I think it is like a country. Yeah, it is. They've got their own rules. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Hmm. Hmm. But that's really gross. Twelve's hmm. no. Well, if you can have your tits cut off at 12, why can't... <laughs> what? Well, can't they have operations how to change your sex at 12? I don't know. I think something... Well, I heard maybe someone was just exaggerating how far they've gone. I don't know. Well, I did hear that there's um, a particular girl who had that done and now she's at 18 and going to sue the doctor. Oh, Because she was just playing with the, everyone. It was a whole It's a whole real thing, but realised this wasn't what she wanted. Well, because she realised. Why is it the doctor's fault? That, because they shouldn't have been allowed to make those decisions before their brain had matured. Mm. Like, I know women's brains mature around about 16 or 18 and men's don't ever mature. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, men don't ever. <laughs> if you can't, if you are not smart enough to vote and you're not allowed... I'm still not smart enough to vote. <laughs> and you're not allowed to have a say in having some tattooing done in Australia till you're 18. Thank God. And you can't drive a car, you can't drink. There's all these things you can't do at 18. How come you can do stuff that's so much worse than I'm that? I'm so happy that you can't get tattooed until you're 18 because I would have, like, the most horrible tattoos. And? Well, I know, I know I'm so... <laughs> shut up. <laughs> but, like, I used to want to get a cupcake on one wrist and a diamond on the other and then I wanted to get Killing With A Smile in script down here. So it's my favorite. It was my favorite Parkway album. You know, couldn't you? Not anymore. Oh no, it's still like the Would best. Would you still Parkway. wear it? No, oh, it's cringy. <laughs> <laughs> I just have more to have to get rid of. I really need a book in a session. Yes, thank you. I really need to get rid of it. I want well, it gone you. before my wedding. So I've got. I want it gone before my next retouching <laughs> session. <laughs> I will. It's only bad when your hair's over it because it just looks like a blotch. It's a nightmare. A nightmare. Well, I should do a tutorial on how to remove Bex tattoos. I think you did do it in one of them, didn't you? No. Yeah, yeah, I think you did. I think it took an hour. An hour? Well, it took a long time. Just heel to it. Can't in between hair. Oh. So what do you do? You've got to go really in there, pixel by pixel. It's a oh. pain in the bottoms. Sorry. Well, I'll just get rid of it then. But it hurts. I'm going to It hurts. So you nearly passed out on something that went on your back, adding more shit to your job. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas what's that? Uh, a minute, two minutes it hurt? No, it's a couple minutes. Two minutes is a couple. It hurts. And then it's an afterburn of it. So, and a back tattoo doesn't have any afterburn? That did. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was five hours of pain. <laughs> you nearly tapped out on I know. Me and Jared were talking about this the other Imagine day. Imagine if you had it tapped out. I couldn't because he was going back to Korea. I know, that's what I mean. So I had to keep going. It was painful. I've been listening to the podcast that Megan Fox was on. And she's talking about the sleeve that she just got. She did that, like, in four days. Each day she went back and did a six-hour sit each day for four days. It doesn't look like that. I I know. I was like... Maybe he he went to the same school as my... um, (laughs) The builders. (laughs) The builders. (laughs) 
24, 24 hour first that sleeve, it doesn't look that intricate. Len's had bigger work than that done. No, I think that's what she how, how long was Jared's one? I think Jared's forearm was like six hours. That's, and that seems very heavy inked. Yeah, and then is the one up here was like three, three or four hour sessions. But that one took longer, but The Apprentice was in... Well, oh, the, no, he, he, I don't know. Sorry, the tattoo artist, I think he might have still been in the... Yeah, it was a while ago. A while ago. Yeah. I hate getting tattooed. I hate removing them. Well, why do you do it? Because they, they look cool. Until they don't. Until... <laughs> well, this never looked good. I hated this from the start. Oh, so let's put something on our ankle. It looks even better. I hate that one as well. Yeah, but see, that's going to take a bit to get rid of. Oh, that, so it's quite was... much bigger. That much bigger. Oh, no, that was pretty black, wasn't that it? That was really black. I'd say they're about the same. I still reckon you've got at least two to go. Yeah, I reckon I'd, I'd say two. Yeah. They need to be three months apart, so I need to do one now and then I get one done towards the end of the year. Well, and you then... better hurry up with it, otherwise it'll still be there on your wedding day. <laughs> I want it to be a little different. Well, you, get, you get a little armband. You can be like, <laughs> get one of those like, rose tattoo armbands, like, you think. Put like, the garter belt leaf, on my head. A leaf garret for anybody who remember him. I you can't, you're too is. young. I, I think the, he died before you were born. I'll put the garter belt on my arm. <laughs> you're going to wear a garter belt? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Not having a veil either. Those. No. I tried Those one, to the veil. I tried one on and I looked like a little girl playing dress ups. It was not. <laughs> well, that's what you look like every day. <laughs> What's new? <laughs> and my dress has got enough chul going on. I didn't need to add more in my. And no, I don't. What about your Cooper hat then? Yeah. <laughs> Just wear your Cooper hat with it. <laughs> gonna be sick. Ugh. I would bow. So you Easter coming up, you got nothing on. Um You're just I've gonna got to sleep all four I've gotta I've gotta go feed my friend's cats. Oh, that's going to take up all of these stuff. Well, <laughs> well done. Well, I like I will I'll probably stay and hang out with them for a bit because well, she has a mancoon. She has a mancoon, yeah. And I Are like... they scratches from cat? Yeah. Oh my god. He's a terror. Is your, yeah, your chest fight healed? Yeah. I was doing another one of you the other day. Oh, freaking scars still here. Oh no, I, I'm covered. My feet are also covered in scratches. He, he's a menace. Get a kitten. That'll be fun. No, I forgot what they are like. He's getting bigger, which I like that he's still like a one-hand cat, but I'm just scared he's about to be a two-hand cat because it's easy to, if he's doing something naughty, it's easy to just like scoop him up. He's going to be a two-hand cat soon. And that's... Nice. Mm, I'm not looking forward to that. I like that he's little, my little stinker. I think he's discovered that outside is a thing and he keeps wanting, like if I let Sis out in the backyard... Because she can't let one out and the other one not. <laughs> sure. That's just cruel. <laughs> sure. He does. He's never been outside. I know. But he sits there and watches the other one out there. No, because going, oh, the privileged one. <laughs> he is. <laughs> because she's too dumb to escape. He would find a way out of that backyard. Didn't she fall between the friggin' panels? And yeah, because she's a dumbass. <laughs> no, didn't she get over? Once? Yeah, because and then we put up extra cat proofing. But I reckon Grim would find a way out. But no, she she hasn't tried to because after she got caught in the fence, she hasn't tried again. I think she, she was like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> oh, but no, I don't trust him. But I try to like I try to not let him see her getting let out. Like I just like cover his Oh, where's the other cat gone? Oh. Oh, she must be out in heaven. <laughs> well, she's she's broken the cat door because we had it locked from the so that they can't get out. But if we let her out, she could come back in. But while we were away, I'm guessing she's tried to go out because she's used to being able. To, and so she kind of broke the door. How did she break it? It's not like flimsy. It's smashed, like the plastic. The, oh my god! It's she's been ramming his head into <laughs> something, right? So we've put like black tape over, so he can't really see outside now. So I just open the door and let Sisera out and cover his little eyes. You cover his eyes, and then he can't really see out there anyway. So, do your parents do that to you? 
Yes. Let the other kids go out and play and then cover your eyes. <laughs> yes. And said, they're not playing the dead. <laughs> <laughs> Outside, they disappeared. They ran away from you. I don't let her out very often, though, because I don't want him to catch on and get any ideas. So my cat's really sad that we've lost Gandalf and I really, really want to make her life better. So I'm going to get a little shit of a thing and then ban her from going outside <laughs> to a happy place. Sounds like a fun thing to do. Maybe you shouldn't have kids. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't I have to toilet train them? Why don't they come toilet trained? I'll drop them off at Gail because Gail can sort them out. Gail can sort them out. Yeah. You've seen what she does with her dog. Yeah, gives it ice cream. Shares ice, ice cream, cream with it. That's <laughs> so that's disgusting. Yeah, well dogs shouldn't eat ice cream. That's like really bad for them. Yeah, but also uh, bleh. 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 My drink's empty. Oh, no. Well, we've been talking for 55 minutes. 55 minutes? Yes. Oh, are you saying that that's enough for me this week? Well, don't you have to get another drink? Yes, and I still have to do some other stuffs. Okay, well. Stuff and stuffs. Thank you guys for joining us again this week. Thank Why you. Why do I sound so formal? I don't know. <laughs> have a good week, We're there, guys. very old. I know. When I met people on the weekend, I was like shaking hands. I was like, this feels weird shaking hands at a club, like meeting friends, friends. Like, hi, nice you to meet you. You were shaking. You weren't fist pumping. No, I just find it weird, like shaking hands with somebody well, you, at a club. Did you shake hands? Yeah, and I felt awkward. I've never seen you shake hands yet. And I was at a club. I was like, hello, nice to meet you. I was like, oh, no, what is it? You cuddle people. I know. That's why it felt weird. Like, it's so formal. I was like, it's yes, nice to, nice to meet you. <laughs> it's weird. Is Jared shaking hands? Yeah. Again? Oh, maybe he's rubbing off on you. I don't know. It was weird. It was weird. Very strange. Anyway. Anyway. Have a good week, guys, and we will see you again next week. See you next week. Bye.